back with the moto videos this year. If you missed last video, I picked up this YZ450. Today I'm gonna compare the stock exhaust to this Yoshimura exhaust right here. Full system to put on here. We're gonna take it to my pit bike track. Since that's the only place to ride, I'm gonna compare stock to the Yoshi, see what sounds better, see if I feel a difference. And in a few weeks, I have an FMF coming in and we'll compare all three and let you guys know the differences before you commit to buying one. If you missed the last video, I picked up this new 450. <laughs> First 450 ever. I've had 250s my entire life. The first time I've really ridden a 450. I'll leave that video in the corner here or in the description if you want to see the first ride on this thing. But JBI got this thing dialed in with the suspension, with the fancy coatings, making this thing look really cool. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. A bunch of moto content coming this year. And I was pumped to see last video with the electric shifter cart build that you guys were pumped on this. <laughs> We've got a new video coming out in the next couple of days, getting this thing up to over 100 miles an hour, changing the gearing setup. Now we can push this thing a lot harder. So if you missed this whole build series, I'll also leave that link below or in the corner. Get everything loaded up. I got some new graphics for it too. Thanks to Moto Pro, we got the 450 graphics, my 110 graphics, Ryan's 125 graphics, and then we have my CR250 build graphics. They're ready to go for everything. Thanks to Moto Pro. I have the KX250 getting put back together right now. We'll have a first ride on that soon too. So many builds going on. The CR250 build, you'll probably see when it's actually finished up. Doing a start to finish on the CR250, so expect to see that soon. All right, we'll get this thing torqued down with my torque straps. They're like the best moto straps you can get right now. This is torque down technology, so your straps will never come unhooked. They'll just get tighter if they ever loosen up. Never have to worry about your bike falling over in the truck or trailer. I'll leave those links below if you want to check those out. All right, we're good to go. Get this thing warmed up. I'll give you a couple of revs stock and then we'll do a couple of revs with the Yoshi. This place is so overgrown right now. I don't know why I'm getting completely geared up to ride a corner track. It's got the new limited edition O'Neill gear. This new stuff is so nice. It's like that stretchy material, all vented and stuff. O'Neill is definitely some of the best gear you can get right now. These Yamahas don't like to start. Stock for stock 450s. This is one of the quieter ones. Sign shape in a little corner track. Got these new ramps from the mountain bike hopper. They actually hooked me up with a bunch of their ramps. This is their biggest freestyle ramp. They uh, it's like a puzzle piece. You put them all together, you can take them apart. They fold up super small. Just brought them all over here. We could probably try this thing on the biggest one. Rest, I want to try out with the Surine at the end of this video. <laughs> open during the week if that my hero solo tripod gopro so the fourth of july i didn't want to wait another week two weeks to post another video i'm trying to stick with posting one to two videos a week so I'm trying to stay on that schedule that's a good enough test of the stock exhaust you can see the before and after from revs to just riding it can only go in a circle so many times next week i'll get out to the track and i'll have an actual full track ride video the pipe is so clean we got the header too shout out to yoshi for hooking it up if you want to get your bike dialed in with a new exhaust i'll leave yoshi down below you guys already know this thing is sweet let it cool down and get this thing thrown on there
So we got the stock system off. We got the Yoshi put on there. Let me know what you think. Do you like the way it looks? I think it looks pretty sweet on here. Definitely looks better in person. Definitely need one of these swivel attachment ratchets to uh, get those off. Otherwise, you're probably gonna have to take the whole shock off. Pretty straightforward. We'll give you guys a couple revs. Okay, so quickly cutting into this video, I wanna thank Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring this video and making it possible. If you haven't heard of Onyx Off-Road by now, you are definitely missing out. This is the best app if you're trying to find new trails to ride near you. In the app, it has little points that represent new trails. If you're on a road trip or are trying to find new trails near you, it makes your life really easy. And who doesn't like new trails to ride and new spots to find that you probably have never seen before? So right now and at the end of this video, check out Onyx Off-Road. It'll be the top link in the description. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can start with a seven-day free trial. And then once you realize how cool the app is, you're going to want to sign up for a membership. And you can use my discount code on the screen right here and get 20% off your first membership. On the app, you click on a point, it shows you the trails, the full description, and what you can expect to get into, along with trails nearby. So once you check out that trail, and you want to head to a close by trail, or even probably ride there, and it gives you the full list of trails that you can find that are probably super close to you that you've never been to before, that other people have found, and then they put it on the app. I'm telling you, you're missing out if you don't at least check out the Onyx Off-Road app. Like I said, it's the top link in the description. Thank you to Onyx Off-Road for sponsoring this video, and we'll get back into ripping the new 450. <laughs> This will have to do until I can get to the track. Let me know what you think sounds better. They sound pretty similar to me right now. Put up, get home, go get the sur on, come back, and set up some of these mountain bike hopper ramps. All right, so I got a few of these mountain bike hopper jumps set up. We have the main big freestyle ramp right here. This thing is actually pretty big. I used to think the red old freestyle ramp I had right here was big, but this thing is gonna launch you. We have my original Area 51 hopper ramp. I'm gonna try this transfer, this little mini. And it's a good thing I just got my new EXT rear shock in this. This is like the best shock you can get for Surons. EXT is big in the mountain bike game, so they definitely know what they're doing. Feels a little different than the 450. <laughs> so much fun. Huron is like the best overall bike. Like you get the pit bike feel, I get the moto feel with now the moto tires being able to hit pretty much any moto jump. It's just so much fun. I can ride it anywhere, whenever, and nobody complains. And you could have a nice little one acre lot set up these mountain bike hopper jumps to some landings and you could have like a nice little backyard track. The best of both worlds to be able to move the jumps around and do what you want and bring them to places. That's why these mountain bike hopper ramps are like the best. Trying to jump from the this side up over into this on the side of the landing. 
And the nice thing about these ramps, it comes with wheels, really easy to move around, just clip it on. Locks in place, and you can move this thing around super easy by yourself. Then you're good to go. Boom. Ready to go. Woo. So much fun. Thing floats you up so high. The most fun jump out of all of it. Sends you like perfectly. This is the most fun jump out of all of them. The ramp moved on me, it pushed sideways. As you can tell, these mountain bike hopper jumps are so much fun. I just want to session this jump over and over again. Like, I would have three or four of these in a row would be so much fun. You will not be disappointed with a mountain bike hopper ramp. I'll leave them linked below if you want to check them out. They have small ramps to big ramps to full size FMX ramps. They have everything. If you check them out, I'm going to head out. If you're new, subscribe, throw a like in this video if you want more videos like this one. If you want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow my Instagram at Tyler Monaghan. And I've been posting a lot on my Snapchat. But if you want to see what's really going down, you can follow me there. Catch you guys in the next video.